Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome in, welcome in. On this channel, we do tarot card readings for all zodiac signs. Um, and in this video, we're focusing on the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, we're going to take a look at some messages for you, Cancer, and for your next seven days ahead. Remember that um, if the video resonates with you and you'd like more clarification, I'm doing personal readings at this time, so check out the description box below for more information on that. While you're here, like this video, share it with those that you love, and subscribe to my channel, Cancerian, to be a part of this journey. Now let us get started. Cancer. You too are involved in this reading, so really center your intentions on what it is that you wish to, what the results that you wish to see here. What are you thinking of? In what areas do you need clarifications? In what areas do you seek answers? Justification, guidance, counseling, healing. All right. Now let's get some messages for you. <clears throat> Your angel spirit guides want you to know that you are a warrior and you're breaking down boundaries. I feel you have what it takes to succeed. They want you to know that they're here guiding over you, watching you, protecting you. Even when things are falling apart, they still see the strength in you, your courage, your bravery, in how you stand up for what it is that you believe in, in how you're moving forward, in how you're expressing yourself, in how you're choosing to express yourself, Cancerian, in how you're choosing to live your life here. I feel you're taking a stand, taking action, and you're being guided to do so. You're seeing things from a higher perspective here when it comes to whatever is ending. It could be a relationship. It could be cycles of hurt. It could be a romantic relationship or otherwise. So you have the upper hand in the situation and you're going to make it through with the justice energy. You're moving away from a situation that is not serving you, Cancerian. And I feel of a past connection here, way past. It's possibly past life connection. Like for me, this energy feels like way, way past energy like another lifetime ago um things are working out for you celebrating justice is on your side so whatever you're going through whatever situation is ending justice is here to be on your side you're going to prevail you're going to be victorious or I feel like you already are victorious and that is why you're breaking away from a situation that's not serving you. That is your victory. So I feel your ancestors are saying you are a warrior, you're on a mission and you're to maybe keep going here. Keep going as if don't allow situations and circumstances to keep you bound or allow them to determine or to define who you are but to know that there are experiences and that you keep moving because there are more experiences ahead of you with the five of pentacles energy you're going through a change a transformation and justice is on your side you may be getting guidance from a past energy and this could be a past energy that is lifetimes away a memory a feeling an idea an identity a connection with another person 
another water sign perhaps we see i see water energy here earth energy um even fire and air What's coming up for you in the future is business, being stable, grounded, your confidence coming back intact, I feel, with the King of Pentacles energy here. This is what's coming up for you in the future. Some of you are cutting out something or you're getting sharper, smarter. Um, so it could be you're cutting something out of your life, Cancerian, or you're actually studying and tapping, studying about yourself or tapping into your, your wisdom, your intelligence. Some of you could be studying law because you're that smart and that could be some of you could um be attorneys here some of you could be bankers police officers judges that's the energy i'm getting but i see a business here that's about to be stabilized and it's coming in swiftly it's something it is in the way that you do things maybe the way how you speak the clarity that you have in speaking cancerian all right welcome i know um it's your birthday period right now so happy birthday to you so we're looking forward to getting amazing messages here from the from your ancestors your angels your spirit your guys i just want to know what it is that they have to say to you and um, I feel some of you are warriors here on a journey. It could be having something to do with bringing balance, financial balance and stability. Maybe to the collective here. You're on a mission. I feel like all the experience that you've been having are learning experiences. And you should just keep on moving. That's what I'm getting. It's as if you're playing a video game and each each level is about is leveling you up so don't get stuck on the experience it's about you continuing on your journey going through each level ascending okay um let's continue okay what's ahead for you What's ahead for you possibly in love, in money, um, in money is a business connection here. We are seeing a business connection here. It's something using your intuition. Maybe someone may want to partner with you in the future with your business here. Um, maybe it's something you do using your intuition, your gifts, your emotions. All right. Something very spiritual. Some of you could be seers are healers um people that are able to sense things emotionally and put them into a physical manifestation you could be artists here visualizers um designers so some of you could be aligning with a business partner who may it's going to come in and bring you some success in the future and this could be love, Cancerian. With the two, it's it's a promise kept in love. It could be between you and a fellow water energy. And it can be between you and a fire sign here, Cancerian, in the future for you. I do feel like you have proper guidance over your journey. Um, as if there's a reason for you being here. And you're being prompted or propelled through inspiration to continue along your journey you're being guided and watched and even sometimes being helped and assisted through certain processes within your life um tap into your in intuition your emotional field to um, manifest what it is that you desire see it visualize your dreams visualize um this this business alignment this partnership i feel like this is it's saying that you have the capabilities of visualizing like in maybe instantaneously with the with the high priestess and the two of cups energy it's like a promise kept because it's something that you wanted and you made sure that it's coming into being even through your emotional your emotions so you're very intuitive very powerful 
and you're about to manifest someone great and this could be a business an entity or a person and it's going to be very good for you all right when it comes to speaking up and expressing yourself cancerian some of you may be shying away from that holding back from really putting yourself out there Um, maybe it's not time and I'm getting don't force things before their time before it's ripe because maybe something in you needs to ripen first because you know on your journey you're learning little lessons here and there and um, so maybe you're not moving forward in a direction that your heart is calling you to go to or something that you're visualizing you're not um, there yet because it's not ripened it's not ready it's just not fully ripe and I think you'll be able to tell when something is fully ripe I'm getting a fully ripe energy here so maybe something is about to become fully ripe and for me that means you're about to manifest this with the three of wands energy that's complete manifestation through creativity all right and creativity even in in energy in essence in imagination in action all right so i feel something is ripening here for the picking it's ripening you know when something is like a mango for example very juicy when that mango because when mangoes are very very ripe they're at their sweetest and i feel like you're someone that is very patient and you allow things to come into being before you uh as if you you know how to savor something when it like you 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 know how to wait until it's very it's ripe and ready and then you savor it you that's when you as if that's when your intuition or, or your emotion say yes it's time so maybe waiting on that right time for something to prosper to come through but when it does it's going to be so juicy that that that's the energy so fully ripe and juicy mm -hmm ready it feels like wine that has been fermenting and someone is it, something that has been waiting it's been in the making for so long but it's the right time like the perfect bottle of wine ready to be shared like someone literally just opened this wine that they've had for years and is sharing it with you here it's like a gift um like they say the blackest berry has the sweetest juice it's like the 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 ripest berry has the sweetest juice i feel like this wine has been aging and this wine i feel is maybe your spiritual gifts your talents your creative abilities your intuition it's and now it's coming out and it's so sweet as if that it's the right time for you to become cancerian so have faith and be strong and trust on your journey. Trust in yourself. Oh my gosh. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the conflict energy with the five of wands. So with this double energy popped out, I feel like this energy comes into your space whenever it gets the chance to. It just is, it just, um, as if it is consistently there. And then um, as soon as there's an opening, it, it just floats into your space. Maybe you haven't fully blocked this connection. Some of you may be dealing with addictions here. Or telling you're having conflict with some thoughts and beliefs that you need to clear up. I don't know how this energy got here. It literally just flew into the reading because I, I didn't even, I don't remember having a question about it. It just came through. All right. We're going to clarify. 
So there's something about this energy that your ancestors want you to know, Cancerian. Because it keeps, it keeps on coming up, this devil energy. So your ancestors want you to know that you, there are still underlying issues that you have maybe something I feel from your childhood experiences that could be blocking your manifestations but I feel like this energy is also helping the wine so it's to ferment you know that's energy it's there for a reason it's the darkness that's the energy it's the darkness that allows the wine to ferment in so it's it's oh gosh so whatever this devil energy in is maybe some of you have what you're thinking of as a as an addiction but i feel like it's that space that allows your wine to ferment your gifts to become sweeter you know to i feel that your gifts are very tasteful i don't know i'm getting that energy your gifts are tasteful very um as if original and unique one of a kind it's like um a chef that prepares a masterpiece this like it's a unique taste something that you do it's like once once in a lifetime that kind of energy as if you can only create this this thing once it cannot be recreated this taste this bottle of wine it has to be aged perfectly and each one come out differently each time so maybe that's the kind of work that you do that's the kind of art because the five of wands energy could be what you're creating here because the wands energy is creativity cancerian so what are you manifesting or physically creating what are you working on some of you are writers some of you may be having writer's block. That could be the devil energy. Okay. Some of you could be musicians. And you're having a bit of conflict. Um, clearing up how to write. Clearing up your work. Wanting to find organization. Help. Even in your mental space too. So this devil energy is not necessarily another person. And if it is another person can say in. It could be because you're attracting this person because you're still harboring feelings within you. And so it is time for you to look into this devil energy. And I'm feeling now that this energy is not all the way bad. I'm saying I feel like this energy is that darkness that allows the wine to ferment over time. So maybe whatever clutteriness and messiness you have, you're going through, even emotionally, it's helping something to sit and to to saute to absorb flavor i don't know why i'm talking about food <laughs> it feels like yeah like when you allow something to permeate fully so it absorbs all of that flavor where we have fire energy and we, we have wood here burning some of you could be jerking jerking some chicken i don't know maybe that's what you do for your living maybe that's your business your skill your gift is in cooking so whatever you do you have maybe you are the one that is considering this energy as toxic and so it is it's it's possible that you are the one that is to change your perspective on maybe fighting this energy and battling it and instead maybe accept it for what it is and know that you trust in your intuition here cancerian so all right okay okay let's continue let's get some clarifications please angels spirits and guides for the devil energy here in cancerian's reading for cancerian's ancestral messages please help me to clarify this devil energy what is this devil? What's the devil energy here? The nine of wands. The nine of wands is waiting, expecting, watching, 
hoping for a change, waiting for a change to come by, as if waiting. This feels like someone that's waiting for a taxi on a on a road that taxi hardly or our vehicles hardly pass on, but is just waiting for a ride so that they can move into this new beginning because they've been working manifesting something i know they're ready to to move forward into the newness of what they've been creating ideas change of ideas change of perspective here the way you look at things all right what you are expecting out of the situation maybe what's 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 um defining it as as um toxic okay maybe it's just how you're looking at it so maybe if you change your perspective the king of cups all right the queen of wands charm I'm getting charm, charm, charm energy, charm. Maybe someone is charming, charming you, charming to you. Maybe something is charming you. Charm can be like a spell cast. Maybe someone is charming. Maybe it's this Virgo energy here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This person is charming and you're suspicious of their actions, their deeds, their intentions toward you. But here they come always popping up in your reading. Um, uh, what should I do? All right, well, let's look at some. Someone, may, some of you may be meeting someone a fire sign, or someone that's really attracted to you. It could be a fellow water sign. What's this devil energy? Four of Wands, commitment. Afraid, someone is afraid of commitment, shies away, the king of pentacles, energy, business, focusing on business. I feel that this is talking about distractions too. Things that may be distracting you, Cancerian, distracting you from work, promises. I, think, I feel like it's, listen. It's more something inter. I feel it is an energy within you that somehow it's maybe it's procrastination for some people waiting with the nine of ones energy here waiting because you're 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 maybe um, indecisive about what you're doing with your life where to go so maybe maybe this devil energy is procrastination or disbelief or lack of trust or lack of guidance intel lack of intel internal wisdom maybe some of you need clarification maybe some of you need meditation introspection um to clear up this energy here maybe it's self it's self-doubt contradiction how you are living your life maybe some of you aren't living the truth of who you are the truth of who you know yourself to be Maybe you're a spiritual person. Maybe you know things. Um, maybe you're awakened, um, enlightened, right? That's what I'm feeling. Something transformed with the tower energy, justice energy, past six of cups energy. Maybe you're an awakened person, Cancerian, and you're possibly not living your truth. You're not um, live, speaking, living, expressing in your daily life um, in, and to live in alignment with the with the um with the justice and the ace of swords living in alignment with the truth of who you are including your belief patterns so you have to have integrity that's the energy trust your heart space and do what feels right to you and if you're still listening to uh, old ways or following old patterns things that you maybe some of you really um old patterns, old way, ways of doing things that even after you do these things, you end up feeling bad and you, you still um, constantly get caught up in these ways of being. That's the energy here 
old habits perhaps that's keeping you out of a that's keeping you in misalignment with your true self so you have to practice what you speak and walk the road that is meant for you so that you can really come into alignment All right okay cancerian this was just a special reading for you a special message from your ancestors that you're on your journey i feel you're warriors here cancer i hope you found messages here that resonate with you and is able to help you along your journey happy happy blessed birthday to you much love prosperity success and abundance in all of your endeavors look forward to the best thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to my channel to show your support and share this video with those that you love a thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you so much for your support. Other ways to support my channel can be found in the description box below this video. Remember, Cancer, in that you can be, do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all Cancerian and all is within you. Much love. Namaste.